concerns about Georgia's flu epidemic tonight. A Coweta County teen has died from the virus, along with more than three dozen adults. And while many of us worry about our kids getting the flu, it's people over 50 who should really be concerned. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin talked to the Georgia Department of Public Health this afternoon about what you need to know if you or a loved one fall into that category. Beth, it is a frightening prospect for people who are 50 and over. It is, Tom and Deidre. You know, the main strain that is circulating right now and making people sick is the H3 N2 flu and it's been around for about 50 years, but it can hit people especially hard if they're older or they have a compromised immune system. I would add At a press conference in downtown Atlanta to update Georgia's flu outbreak, some grim news, but also some reassurances from the state's top health official, Dr. Patrick O'Neill. This is not a pandemic. This is seasonal flu. But it's an H3 into a year, which means it's going to be a fairly serious year. And that's how the season is shaping up in Georgia, with 37 confirmed flu related deaths, including a child under 18, 700 plus hospitalized, and 12% of those now seeing a doctor have reported flu like illness, which state epidemiologist Dr. Sherry Drenzik says is unusually high. I'm hoping that we are close to peaking, but I still think we do have several weeks of uh, flu activity ahead of us. And even if we've peaked and it starts and the activity levels start to uh, diminish or, or go down a bit, it doesn't mean we're not still at risk. And for that reason, the State Department of Public Health is urging people to get a flu shot. And if you're sick, they say ask your doctor about the antiviral medication Tamiflu. If you can take it within the first 48 hours of getting sick. That shortens the course of the disease and probably modifies the severity of the symptoms with some significance. And this year, the H3N2 flu seems to be hitting older Georgians especially hard. 25 of 37 Georgia flu deaths were in people 65 or older. Older, and 84% were 50 or over. But Dr. O'Neill says so far this year, the strain doesn't seem to be hitting young children unusually hard. I know a lot of parents have been almost to the point of panic for fear that one of their kids or some of their kids were going to come down with flu. And we certainly want those children to be taken in, evaluated, and treated if they need to be. But I think it's important for, for parents not to feel panic. Dr. Drenzik says even mild flu can make you feel miserable with fever, cough, Coughs, muscle aches and fatigue. But what I would say is a warning sign that should indeed uh, again uh, send someone to seek medical attention is worsening symptoms, a very high fever, and again, particular among individuals that may be at risk for severe complications of flu. So wash your hands often, cover your cough, <laughs> and avoid touching your face right now. And if you catch the flu, don't go into areas where there are a lot of people. People, like going to church or going to school or coming to work. When you get sick, stay home, stay as isolated as you can. Very good advice and state health officials say if you're older, you want to make sure that you're up to date on your pneumonia shots because if you catch the flu, the virus can open the door for a secondary bacterial infection like pneumonia and that's when things can really turn deadly. So if you're not up to date on your pneumonia shots, go see your doctor and get up to date.